Another story that you'll see only on two tonight, a four year old boy attacked by another child on a school bus. His mother outraged after seeing the extent of his injuries. Jennifer Bauer spoke with that concerned mom and joins us live now. Jen. You know, we're talking about little kids here, just four and five years old. This mom tells us she can't believe problems like this are starting so young. Whenever he got off the bus, he was holding a paper towel and it, it had a bunch of blood on it. He had blood down his neck and on his backpack. Ronnie Bennett snapped these photos of her son's head, a gash on the back, some welts and scratches near his neck. Four year old Colton was injured while riding the bus home from Hopper Elementary on Monday. He's in pre K after a trip to the ER. Colton's now fine, but his mom has a lot of questions. At first, she says someone with the Goose Creek Consolidated School District told her the bus driver made a sharp turn and Colton fell out of his seat. But now she says she has learned her son was actually being picked on by a five year old. The little boy grabbed him by the back of the head to like pull him near and then pushed his head down and hit his head on the metal bar. In a statement, a district spokesperson tells Channel 2 the bus driver attended to the child, the parent was notified, and the bus was rerouted to deliver the child home more quickly. The kindergartner has been disciplined in accordance with our student code of conduct. Ronnie says she doesn't feel comfortable because that five-year-old is still riding the same bus with her son. I definitely think the student should be removed off the bus because if he's not conducting himself right on the bus, then this may not be the only injury. Now, Ronnie says she would like the district to rethink their discipline policy. In the meantime, Colton does ride home with his older brothers, ages six and eight. Ronnie says the three of them are going to sit together and stay away from the five-year-old. We're live tonight. I'm Jennifer Bauer, KPRC Channel 2 News.